Wow, we what a Monday night roll. Just had a just had a shower because I need I need to need to get ready to go to uh, my sister's birthday. I'm gonna be going out, so that's why I'm gonna quickly get this review out there right now. Wow, I must say this night was full of surprises. Raw after Mania. Um, is always a treat. It's always exciting, and it's always exciting to see uh, new people come back and um, people make their debuts. And I'll talk about the, uh, the strong things about this now. Um, it was great to see my girl Emma. It was great to see my girl Emma back finally. And after what I saw in that match, after what I saw in that match, it's since. Vince McMahon uh, introduced Kurt Angle as the new Raw General Manager. As soon as Vince McMahon said he was inducted into the Hall of Fame, I knew it was Kurt Angle. As soon as he said it, I knew it was going to be Kurt. So, and... So... So, um... Uh, let me get back to what I was saying. Um, after the match, when Sasha Banks did the bank statement and Charlotte tapped, um, after what I saw, what happened, I've got a funny feeling. Since when Vincent Mann announced a, uh, a, a a superstar change, so that means there's gonna be a draft next week. After seeing that, after seeing what happened on Raw with Charlotte. She's going to go to SmackDown. Charlotte is going to be heading over to SmackDown Live. Or maybe they're giving her time away. Maybe they're giving her time off. Or maybe she's going to SmackDown. I think she's going to go to SmackDown Live. And she'll probably become the SmackDown Live Women's Champion. Who will, who will they swap in her place? Probably Alexa Bliss or Becky Lynch. It'll be one of them. That'll, that'll, take, that'll take Charlotte's place. Um, on Monday Night Raw for the swappings and also Finn Balor Finn Balor is back Finn Balor is back and and it was great to see Finn Balor it was great to see Finn Balor doing the coup take took the coup de gras once again I, I missed that move it was great to see. Um, and also we saw The Revival make their Raw debuts on Monday Night Raw. The New Day were very angry that they did not compete at WrestleMania. So they wanted a match on Raw against any tag team that dared to challenge them. And then, say yeah! I love doing that. Say yeah! Came out. Seamus and Cesaro had a match with uh, Enzo and Cass. Um, to me, this to me this match could be hinting another uh, draft change because I, I I feel like Enzo and Cass could be going to SmackDown. That's just my guess. I've got a funny feeling there's going to be a few changes on SmackDown. I think SmackDown's gonna have a have a pretty good gonna have a pretty good roster. They're gonna have Charlotte heading over to their brand, possibly. Uh, I'm I'm not fully confirming that she could be going to SmackDown. They could be giving her time off, or they could be specifically giving her a new feud with Nia Jax. But I'm backing my money. She's gonna go to SmackDown. It was great to see the revival. It was great to see Kurt Angle come back. Cruiserweight Champion Neville and Mustafa Ali, they had a pretty good match. Pretty good match. Um, the Hardy Boys retained their titles against Gallows and Anderson. Steroid Mahal had a match. Sorry about that, that was my mum that came in and she turned off my light, but... Oh freaking well. Um, where was I? Can't remember where the heck I was now. Thank, thanks that. Oh yeah, Matt Hardy and Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy defeated uh, Gallows and Anderson. Neville beat Ali. 
Kurt Angle was named general manager. The Revival debuted. Bailey, Sasha, and Nia. Uh, Bailey, Sasha, and Nia. Bailey, Sasha, and ba Dana beat Charlotte, Nia, and Emma. Braun Strowman confronted Brock Lesnar, which they're setting up that match. Sami Zayn beats Steroid Mahal, and of course I need to. Of course I should bring up the the situation at the start of Monday Night Raw with the Undertaker. I know I should have brought that up at the start, but you know Raw has really been exciting. I really wanted to talk about the things that I really enjoyed about Monday Night Raw. I feel like Raw. I feel like Raw was a really good show today. Um, the fans really gave it to Roman Reigns. I will say that. The fans really did give it to him. It was almost like it was Brock Lesnar all over again. But the thing is, the fans don't hate Brock Lesnar. The fans were angry that he beat Brock... The fans, don't, the fans were angry that Brock Lesnar beat The Undertaker. Because The Undertaker's streak was so legendary at the time. But they didn't hate Brock Lesnar. For it. They booed him for it, but they did not full on hate him like what they're doing with Roman Reigns. And it was great to see Finn Balor. Th this show overall was so good. Um, I'm actually going to make a few bold predictions for uh, the draft. I feel like there's going to be a few changes. I feel like there's going to be big changes to the rosters. I feel like Charlotte's going to go to SmackDown. Alexa Bliss will take her place. That's my guess. I think Alexa Bliss will take her place. I think there might be a few NXT call-ups. SmackDown will probably claim a few NXT guys. Maybe like Shinsuke, Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, they might claim DIY. Who knows? SmackDown will probably get a tag team in the draft. Who knows what's going to happen? I think Enzo and Cass could be a possibility to go to SmackDown. I think Natalia, I wouldn't mind Natalia being put on Raw. You could swap her for probably like Summer Rae. I would definitely would love to have Summer Rae on SmackDown. Um, Eva Marie, she's not going to be drafted, so but you know she's not going to have any effect on anything. So you may as well not draft her because you know she she's not going to re-sign. So you may as well just you know not not change her at all. Like what's the point in even swapping her over? Um, I, I, I possibly see, maybe, I, I, I honestly don't see AJ Styles coming to Raw now. I don't see it. I just don't see that happening now. I don't see him heading over to Raw, for whatever reason now. Since he beat AJ Styles, um, well, AJ Styles can't beat himself. <laughs> he can't beat himself. Um, since he beat Shane McMahon, I just don't see him now going to Raw. I just don't see it now. I don't, I don't, I don't see that happening. Maybe they know he, they, they need him for SmackDown. Maybe, maybe, you know, the only way he would go to Raw is that if, is that if SmackDown gets a really big name. I know Shinsuke Nakamura is a big name, but I don't think Nakamura is a big enough name to pretty much say, okay, we're gonna move Styles over to Raw. Probably like it. Probably like if SmackDown got their hands on Finn Balor or Samoa Joe. Then they would be like, yeah, all right, we'll move um, AJ Styles over to Raw. So I don't think they'll move AJ Styles to Monday Night Raw. I think the club could be a possibility to come to SmackDown. I don't think they will, but it's a possibility. Uh, I would I would like a few more NXT call ups uh, for the brand extension, maybe like for like the uh, for for the call ups. Um, I would like that. I would like probably like I would not. I would love to see DIY on SmackDown. I would definitely like to see a few more women added to both brands. Maybe I would maybe like Os well maybe not Osuka. Probably like Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. Maybe Liv Morgan, Mandy Rose. I, I don't know. It's gonna be very interesting to see what they're gonna be doing. going to be very interesting. Alrighty guys that has been my, uh, well it hasn't really been a, a raw review but 
uh, it wasn't really a raw review, but I had to get that out there. But let's. But this is. But um. But yeah, that's that's raw review. So I'll see you guys for SmackDown tomorrow.